Hey, R.T., who's your girlfriend? Don't get smart, Lewis. Don't pay no attention to him, Mr. Joe. I'm getting used to it by now. You sure got pretty hair, R.T. That mustache don't do much for her. <laughs> Damn punks. Don't pay any attention to him. Hey, you know, Jenny's still in town? You know, I had a feeling when I came by the church mm -hmm. she was still here. Mm -hmm. Then we catch her before the meeting lets out. Yeah, we could if we get on the stick, buddy. Hey, can't you read? You're good in the men's room. Now, hold on now. How much to fix it? Well, let me see here, Lewis. Uh, you got yourself a bent wheel here. You want me to straighten the old one or put your new one on there? Whatever's cheaper. Well, it'd be cheaper for straightening it, but it's going to take a while. Now, I can, I can get your new one on there and get you out of here quicker, but it's going to cost you a little more. And that, that, that tire, you got to have a new tire. That tire is all torn. All right, all right. A new tire and a new wheel. Okay, tire, new tire, and a new wheel. All right, that headlamp up there, Buster, you gotta have a new headlamp. Why, I can run with that lamp. No, you can't, Lewis. You get out on the highway and stay troopers, boy. I'll stop you in a minute. All right, minute. all right. A new headlamp. What all else? Right. Well, let's see. Let me write that down. Headlamp. 
Well, Lewis, to do the job right, you ought to let me fix the fender for you. Come on, Cooper. Well, How much is this other stuff well, going to okay, cost? Okay, all right. Let me see. A headlamp, a new tire, and a new wheel. Hold it. i got to go out in front a minute. Afternoon, Reverend. Fill it for you? Yes, thank you, R.T. Isn't it too bad we can't instill the spirit of God in a man as easily as we can put gasoline in a gas tank? Yes, sir. I've been kind of busy on Sunday lately. Excuse me. I do, Preach. Afternoon, boys. How's Jenny doing? Well, I mean, don't see her around much since the movie star came back. I just figured that she and him, well, you know, they were pretty thick before he left. Yobi here rode into town with Bo Ramsey this morning. Said he'd seen Jenny and the movie actor riding on his machine out at 105. Said they looked to be having a real nice time. Ain't that right, Yobi? Sure is, sure is, Lewis. By the way the wind was blowing her dress, you could see clean up to her belly button. Aw, oh, Joby, riding them machines are a lot of fun. Of course, they ain't got much of a seat on them, so two's got to sit real close. I mean, real close. You have to hold on to the rider around the middle real tight to keep from getting throwed off. You know, around his middle. You through yet, R.T.? Yes, ma'am, Reverend. Of course, from what I hear, that ain't the real reason gals like to ride them machines. Seems they get some kind of pleasure out of straddling that seat and feel all that vibration. What do you want? Treated. Well, I don't want anything. Then get out of my car. But I thought you might. Might what? Might want something. Now, what on earth would I want from you? You're just as bad as he is. Not as smart, maybe, but just as bad. Well, I just figured that maybe you'd like a little help in keeping Smith away from your daughter. Just trying to do you a favor. I certainly don't need any help from you. I'm fully able to take care of my own. Besides, we have the law in this town that can deal with any problem. Now, you just get out of my car. Okay. But you'll change your mind, and we'll still be here. Might have been, Billy. About two dollars. Two dollars, all righty.
Dave, you better get an ambulance out here. 